Hi, my name is Chris Packham. I'm a naturalist and broadcaster. And for me, birds are the best things in life. And the best birds in Britain are undoubtedly sparrowhawks. They're fast, they're furious, they're dashing, they're super little predators, but they're also extraordinarily shy. They're difficult birds to get to know. But in the next hour, you're going to get to know more about sparrowhawks than you probably could in a lifetime. It's November and the male arrives back permanently to his nesting grounds since dispersing in August. The male will now stay around the copse all the time, protecting it from other male intruders and await the arrival of the female who returns in December. There's an abundance of wildlife on the island where all the species rely upon each other for their survival. December soon arrives. The female is circling overhead. He instantly does his courtship display pecking his legs and feet, showing that they're in peak condition to provide her with food in the months ahead. His white covert feathers are also displayed. He will then do the courtship, which looks just like mating, and can take place up to a dozen times a day.
Now this is unusual because the female also mounts the male. It strengthens their relationship. They then bow and kiss by each other's feet. Throughout the courtship months, when displaying to the female, the male frequently uses oil from the oil gland to spread on his legs and feet. This doesn't usually happen at any other time of the year. Now that a bond has been established, the female soon chases away any other female intruders. A pair of tawny owls are also doing their courtship nesting on the other side of the river, just 80 metres away. A few days later, the male starts to collect twigs and he actually starts to construct the nest. Now, the male constructs about 85% of the nest, whilst the female sits close by, watching. She only visits the nest for a quick tidy and in fact it's not until March that she helps in collecting and constructing the nest. The female catches lots of pigeons, and these are shared with the male in the early stages when he's nest building. She eats herself first before calling him across to eat some of the pigeon. And one pigeon kill like this can last them both two and a half days. The female catching large prey saves wasting valuable energy trying to catch small prey in these the winter months. Magpies are also collecting nesting materials. But the male's too busy eating his meal to notice that the magpie is actually pinching material from his nest.
It was always thought that sparrowhawks would build on top of a wood pigeon's nest, as previous studies had found the remains of wood pigeon droppings at the bottom of the sparrowhawk's nest. But in fact, it's the wood pigeons that will try and take over a sparrowhawk's nest. The wood pigeons will arrive on the nest, perform their courtship displays, and even bring fledglings from other nests and feed them there. They'll even sleep in this sparrowhawk starter home. In fact, sparrowhawks always build a new nest. They will rob their previous year's nest of large twigs to form the base, though. February brings a deep covering of snow. Songbirds are struggling to survive, whilst the hawks still want to carry on nest building. The female tries in vain to clear the snow away so the male can carry on, but they're going to have to wait for the big thaw. A kingfisher has found a small opening in the ice to hunt from, and this is vital for its survival in these very hard times. A few weeks later, and it starts to thaw. 